need a little bit of coffee. Mm -mm. Honestly, my hair today on its last legs, please excuse it. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a few things that I picked up from Zara. This shirt included, this shirt guys, can we just take a moment for this, this shirt because it is stunning, stunning. I love it, I'm wearing it with um, a black pair of trousers right now. Very like 2000s, but I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, black trousers, Converse, really like the vibe. It's one of my items from this Zara order, which I'm gonna be taking you through today. I picked out a few things that I thought would work in nicely with everything else in my current wardrobe and just spice things up nicely. And I thought we could try them on together and you could let me know what you think I should keep and return. I'm looking to like only keep the best of the best. Like if I if I just keep the shirt, actually I'll be quite happy because I just love the shirt. But yeah, I thought I would take you through a few pieces for early autumn. I'm gonna get started actually with this dress. A uh, little bit out there, not necessarily like a key staple piece for autumn, winter. Um, I got this in a size XS to S and it was 25.99. Um, it actually, is not meeting expectations now that it's arrived. It's like a that ribbed kind of material that lots of the bodies come in, um, but it's like a bodycon dress that has like a rhinestone like cut out detailing around the sides and I thought that was kind of cool. It might be a nice like one for my birthday, like not too dressy, but not casual. Um, so we're gonna try that on, see how it looks. I don't love the fabric. I feel like it makes it feel very cheap. It obviously was, $25.99. I just thought it was going to be slightly different. What I would say is that this fabric uh, is very stretchy, so I think it will fit really well. Not the most forgiving fabric though. We'll see. We'll see. Because the cut out, you can't wear any shape around underneath either, so it has to, like, it has to bang. I'm not going to lie, I don't love this one. I kind of knew it from the second it came out of the box. Like, this like ribbed material is just not it. I think if this dress were to work, it needs to be more structured in some way. Like when I stand to the side, like it doesn't, it looks kind of okay from the front and from afar, but if I turn to the side, it's just not flattering and it kind of gapes a little bit. I think if you were to do a dress like this, there needs to be some more structure here and here, and maybe a little bit more shoulder structure as well actually to make it look it's most flattering and like the overall design is cool but the execution and the finishing of it is just not not there sad times but i'm sure i'll find a better one then i picked up this pair of trousers these are like a wide leg leather trouser and i haven't been wearing anything skinny for a while i'm sure i will once we get into the depths of winter because um i really like tucking something skinny into a boot um however maybe i'll wear wide leg and have the boot underneath what a thought i don't think i've ever done that but anyway i thought i'd pick up a wide leg leather trouser and see how i get on it actually says like 90s wide leg on the tag so this is going to be interesting but they're still high rise which is great because i just still think high rise is a very convenient fit of something low rise not very convenient not ideal also doesn't make the silhouette look amazing i feel like on my body shape if i do like low rise anything and wear like a t-shirt with it like kind of tucked looks so wrong so it has to be like i guess baggy everything for me i don't know i have my reservations on low rise you guys know if you've watched the videos before but i picked up a wide leg high rise pair of leather look trousers and i'm very excited to try them on i feel like they look really cool with this shirt as you can tell big fan of the shirt big big fan my friend amelia said that in a tiktok the other day and now i can't stop saying it so apologies okay. the wide leg leather trousers it's a no for me dude i've had to put on the highest heels in the entire world and they still don't fit quite right they're still a little bit too long and i couldn't even wear them with these shoes because it just looks ridiculous from the side. If you are shorter, these are probably gonna be a no-go. Like, I don't think I own a pair of heels that would give me enough height for these to um, sit right and then also look good. So sadly, these are not a winner for me, but I will keep hunting. But in terms of the size fit, I generally buy a size eight from Zara and I bought an eight and these are like perfect around the waist, like not too loose but not too tight at all. So size wise, they fit really well, just sadly not right for my height. I also picked up this little set, like suit set. 
It's so nice. I don't think I've ever owned a grey suit set, but I'm really excited about this. So I got a size small. I really like this type of grey as well. It's very autumn-y, very wintry. It's got little like light shoulder pads, so it's gonna give a little bit of structure, I think. I'm hoping it still has like a boxiness to it, given I got a small. We will see. Okay, where is the bottom? Okay. C minus for presentation. It has this little skort that goes with it. It's so cute. I think this is like slightly more low rise, which could be interesting. Actually, to be fair, most low rise on me, unless it's severely low rise, isn't ever low rise. It's mid rise because I have like no torso. <laughs> I'm so short. If you're new here, I'm 5'2". If you're new here, also, hi, I'm Susie. I do love a bit of Zara. So, so you will see a few of these videos hanging around but yeah i'm excited to try the full thing on i think i would have a lot of fun styling them up over autumn winter and get a lot of wear out of those two so very excited for those so i love this little two piece i've just thrown it on with um a little black vest which is also from zara i love the zara vest so much zara for basics is just like elite tier for me back to the two piece i really like it and I'm not normally a grey girl, but there's something about this set that I am really enjoying. I don't know what has come over me, but I really like it. I've paired it with the boots and I really like this vibe. It makes it a little bit more like preppy, but then I've got my Balenciaga bag that's just for like a little bit of a kind of like tougher edge to kind of counteract that like preppy smartness. And I really like this look actually. I think I would get a lot of wear out of this over the early autumn season. And then I could wear the blazer just with leather trousers um, and like a proper pair of boots as we go more into like cooler temperatures. To be honest, this also wouldn't look bad with a pair of tights either, and I didn't think I'd hear myself saying that, but this also would look very nice with tights. And I do have a few statement pairs of tights that I could wear early autumn and then thicker tights um, as things start to get colder as well. So that's this look. However, there are another pair of shoes uh, that I am obsessed with at the moment. And if you don't watch my vlogs, you won't have seen these, but I'm obsessed with these shoes and they actually work kind of well with this. Some people might disagree, but I really like them. When I say obsessed, like I can't wait to get up in the morning and get dressed and put on these boots. Very, very rare for me. I love them. These are actually a very affordable dupe for a very expensive pair of cowboy boots that I saw Emily Ratajkowski wearing and loved. So I found basically the exact same pair. I will link them for you if they're still available, but they're the best, I love them. What do we think? I personally, I love it. And because the boots have the kind of like off-white gray stitching through it, I think it works really well with the blazer. I also think this look would really suit an oversized tee. Okay, I think I like it without the skirt showing. I did try a little kind of like belt foldy situation to give it a little bit of a like a new new layered vibe. Don't like it, just not loving that aesthetic right now. I don't know if I can make it work for me. But yeah, I think with the Anina Bing t-shirt underneath, it looks pretty good. Um, I love this t-shirt and the cowboy boots combo anyway. If you've watched my What I Wore in a Week, you'll already know. Um, but yeah, I think the blazer makes a nice addition, makes it a bit more autumn-y. But yeah, love this blazer. I love it with the cowboy boots. Love it with the other boots as well. Love. Love, love, love a Chelsea boot. When Chelsea boots were everywhere, I was a very happy girl. These were 79.99. I got a size five. Hopefully they fit well. They look, they look pretty good in terms of size. I think just to eyeball, I think these are gonna be okay. I'm excited to try these on. Hopefully these are comfy though, because that's the worst when you get the elasticated bit and it's not comfy. So verdict on the boots, so far so good. They feel relatively comfy, like the heel height feels really good. The edge of the boot doesn't seem to be rubbing at all yet, but obviously I have not walked further than the bedroom to the living room to the kitchen and back. So jury's still out on that one. However, I do think they'll be very versatile in my wardrobe. And because of the heel height, I think they'd get a lot of wear. If I were also to be wearing like a skinnier jean as well, I think they would create a really nice silhouette because they're very like tight on the ankle. So yeah, so far, so good. I think if you were looking for a nice, easy pair of winter boots, these are definitely ones to look at. I love this style of boot. I'm really glad that they like kind of come back a little bit every year. And so I think these will have a lot of longevity in your wardrobe. I also saw this and I just, I just had to try it. I can't check out without knowing if this is gonna be cool on me or not. It's, it's like a white, blouse it's got like a a tie up bit it's so hard to show 
It's got like a weird tie up bit, which I think goes at the back. It falls quite long and the sleeves, the sleeves have feathers on them. And yeah, I just think it's so cool. It's got like a cut out bit at the front as well. I don't know if you can tell. Um, you'll see it on. And whilst they'd styled it to look almost slightly corporate girly on the Zara website, I was like, nah, there's, there's some really good ways that you could style this and it just look so, like I'm gonna use the word cool again, but you could just make this look really, really cool. I just, I just have a feeling like, just like with a pair of black leather trousers, a really slick pair of black heels, some good jewellery, I feel like you could make this look so amazing. Oh, the cuffs are removable as well, amazing. That's so fun. That's also very good for washing. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that on. I think it's a really fun statement piece to add into your wardrobe and it would do you well over the autumn winter season, actually through till spring as well because of the color of it. You could definitely get away with wearing it in spring before it starts warming up. And for me, it could be a birthday contender. I'm not gonna lie, it could be a birthday contender. So let's ignore the fact that number one, I am braless because I couldn't be bothered to find the only bra that would like work with this top and also my hair because I've just shoved it back to show you the kind of look that I would go for with this. Um, your hair down does work, but I just think it's so nice because of the back detail on this top, which side note, wasn't sure if you're meant to make it a bow or not. I really don't know. Um, I made it into a bow, but you could just like double knot it and leave it long. Um, but because of the back detail and the neck detail, I just really wanted to um, kind of let that do the talking. Like this top is a lot, it's like quite a statement. So um, I think like a slicked back bun look is the perfect look to go with this, but like loose waves kind of like I had, I think also works really nicely as well if you just don't love having your hair up. I've tucked it into the leather trousers. The length of this is kind of awkward and I don't love it, but I was fine with that because I ideally wanted to tuck it anyway. And I've just paired it with my little June sandals and my Balenciaga bag because very attached to this. And I absolutely love this look so much, like I cannot wait to wear it out somewhere. Um, I didn't intend on loving as many things out of this order as I do. So I'm gonna have some tough decisions to make. Yeah, obsessed, obsessed. I'm glad I have a lot on over the next month and a lot of birthday celebrations as well because I'm gonna have a lot of outfits to wear. I then have another pair of shoes. I love these, I think these are really fun. I really like this style of shoe, but I didn't wanna pay like a huge amount of money for them. Um, I just, I just go with my gut if I'm like willing to spend the money on like a designer version of something. I don't know why. Sometimes people ask me to justify it and I really do just follow my gut in terms of whether I'm like happy to part with the money for something. And for a style of shoe like this, I wasn't, but I thought I'd pick up a high street version and these just looked perfect. These could actually work really, really well with the feathery top. I really like them. They go well with like a leather jacket look as well. You could really like toughen these up. Yeah, I got a size five and these were 45.99, which is not bad for like, that's a lot of, there's a lot of shoe going on here, you know? But yeah, I'm really excited to try these on. I think they're so cool. These heels are so high, it's crazy. <laughs> I actually don't know if I love them. I'm really not sure. I need your help with this one. I'm just on the fence a little bit. I don't know if they're too, chunky for me uh, which is a shame because i think as a shorter girl a chunky very high heel does me a lot of favors like i can breach things on the top shelf in these however i just don't really know if it's like doing great things for me outfit wise i don't know why i'm not sure like a super chunky sitch on the feet like actually suits me i think sometimes it's better to keep it more minimal but i do love like a chunky laced up boot I don't know, I'm just not sure, there's something about these, I'm not sure. I then also picked up this top, again, a bit like the white one, I just couldn't say no to it, it's not something that I necessarily needed for like every day, but I was like, Look, I've got a lot of social occasions coming up and I think this is really, really fun. Um, you can't really see it very well on camera because it's all black, but it comes down the chest like this. And then it has this panelled detailing around the waist. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I think it is amazing. So it's like halter neck style and then goes into almost like a corset on the bottom. And I'm just so excited to style that up. I think it's a really easy way to look like you've made an effort with minimal effort like that with the pair of black wide leg trousers. I think it would look amazing and it's really not had a lot of thought go into it at all. So I'm very excited about that. This top, I 
love. I love a halter neck. I think I have wider shoulders for my like silhouette. I'm not sure, that maybe that's not what it is. Maybe I'm getting it completely wrong, but I've always felt like I have slightly wider shoulders. And then I'm fairly like blessed chest wise, you know what I mean? We all know what I mean. Um, so I think like I get a bit top heavy here and I think a halter neck or sometimes just like not even having any like any material at the top, like a bandeau situation actually ends up being a little bit more flattering on me. I don't know why, maybe someone else will be able to tell me why it is and like nail it a bit better than me. I've been trying to figure it out over the last like 20 years and I can't figure out what it is, but I definitely feel like it suits me more to have like a halter neck sitch or like nothing really at all, especially like on my back and shoulders. But yeah, I'm very passionate about this top. I really like it. It's that like perfect little bit of like 90s, 2000s vibe, but it's something that I think um, I would still re-wear. It's only really the halter neck that's giving it that vibe really. And other than that, it's just a really nice black top. And I think I get a lot of wear out of it. Um, it is really easy to get on as well, given the fact that it has like a zip side, which isn't one of those zip sides, by the way, that like fully just undoes. It's like a zip side to like here and then you're on your own and you've got to find your own way in. Don't love that, but it's not the worst to get into. I definitely have worse. Um, and I actually love the like structuring of the top i think it's super flattering do i need to tan the in between of my boobs yes absolutely um but we're just going to look past that for now but yeah i'm very very happy with this i actually think this would look so nice with this bag which i am very emotionally attached to i know i know um but i still don't know if the shoes go so i might also be inclined to pair this outfit with these shoes, which are just some really old ones from June. Yeah, these, or I could go for um, my Jimmy Choo boots, which are like a sock boot, and they've got like different paneling bits on it that kind of like spiral around the leg. They're really cool. I think these would look really good with this outfit as well. So that's also a potential, but whilst it's a little bit warm for now, I think a more open shoe could work. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you prefer these or do you prefer the chunkier shoe? Um, I feel like a lot of pieces in this order actually really all work very nicely together. I love it when an order comes through like that. I also picked up these shoes. I had a bit of a shoe moment. I don't know why, but I really liked these. So they're like a court toe court toe court shoe oh god i don't even know these these could go one of two ways like i said earlier these could be styled up very corporate girly i think these would bang with a pair of leather trousers um i love the heel on them as well i also really like that they're sling back so it's not your feet are like flippy flopping around because it's really annoying and yeah i thought these would be really nice for like both like every day not every day but like meetings on a daily because they are like a low heel just very very nice and easy your foot is covered so much more appropriate for um autumn than some of my sandals that are like this height and then they're like just really flimsy little strap the foot is not covered the foot is not warm i mean these they're not gonna be warm in these either but the foot at least is is covered yeah i really like them i really like them oh my god you guys these shoes are so cute annoyingly i can't get the little uh like twisty tag off of them to like separate them so you're gonna have to like make do with me walking like a pigeon but i really really like these i think they're just such a nice sleek simple design they go really well with like the outfit that i'm wearing right now but it also work really nicely with a few other outfits in this video the white blouse in particular i think these would look really cool with with like the same leather trousers as well these leather trousers are actually a pair that i bought from zara last year and they just fit so much better in terms of like the leg length than the other ones the wide leg ones so you know what they say if ain't broke don't fix it the grass is not always greener on the other side and all of that so um yeah i should just stick with what i already have and really like but i do want something a little bit wider leg but these are definitely going to see me through until then i love them so much um, i'm pretty sure zara still do a version of these so if you are interested i will try and link them but yeah love these shoes they're really like comfy i think they look kind of like minimal but they're still a little bit of a statement and i really like how they look with a more straight leg leather look trouser as well having a real like all black moment at the moment i have done exactly what i did this time last year where i'm back in my like courtney kardashian travis barker era there is something about autumn winter every year that makes me go yeah leather jackets oversized stuff chunky boots i will take the lot i actually had two years where i basically didn't do that kind of over lockdown and i really felt very lost in my personal style and now that i've kind of gravitated back towards it i'm like oh no 
Oh, everything makes sense now. I feel very comfortable. I feel very confident. Yeah, I'm really excited to style up these pieces. I'm super, I'm buzzed about this. I think this would look so cool over the top of my Anina. Is it Anina? Someone very uh, impolitely told me that I was saying Anine Bing wrong. It's like Anina Bing. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm saying it right now. My Anyway, my Anina Bing t-shirt. I think this would look so good over it and with the score as well I think you could like pull it all together I think it would look so good cowboy boots could also work with that as well which will be interesting so yeah I'm excited to get styling everything up I mean you'll already know by this point because you get glimpses into the future but I've got no idea also there was one top that was in this order which I'm just going to take a moment for now because it was meant to be in this order but I think I must have forgotten to put it into my basket and I'm so annoyed about that but it is stunning if I can still get my hands on it I might buy it but this is what it looks like and I just thought it would be so cool with like I'll wear a lot of um tailored trousers that are like quite high-waisted and I thought it would look really cool with those um over the next couple of months and then probably again in spring also does work for summer as well for events so I think it would be a really great piece to add in my wardrobe so if I can get my hands on that I'm going to that's also on my Zara wish list but thank you all so much for joining me today do let me know which pieces were your favorite and which pieces you think I should keep and return in the comments below if you're new here please do subscribe I am so excited for all of the autumn content this year I'm really I'm really back on my YouTube bandwagon I'm so happy about it so yeah please do subscribe Subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you. Bye